Today, I am going over 20 build mode updates that Blacksburg players want. I made a community post for this video and picked some of the best responses. So if you want to be in future videos, make sure to subscribe to see when I post. Update number one is the ability to change decals in build mode. Right now, if you want to change decals, you have to get out of build mode and then change the painting. This is really annoying to deal with whenever you're building with friends because there's always that one person that won't get out of build mode. Adding this would save people a lot of time and it would also make it easier to change decals that are high in the air. Update 2 is placing walls on any size grid. It's pretty self-explanatory, but whenever you change your grid size, the walls will snap to the selected grid instead of the large grid size. People that use real-life blueprints would probably love this update because it would make one-to-one -one build ratios possible. For this to work well, roofs would also have to get the update because right now they can only be placed on the large grid size. Update 3 is also a wall update and it would be adjustable wall height. I mentioned this in the last video, but I'm going to say it again because it's build mode related. Once you place a wall wall down, get the scale tool and click on the wall, then size it up or down. Right now you have to use basic shapes to create custom wall heights. You can't put real doors or windows on shapes, so this update would solve that problem. Moving on, update 4 is introducing more interactive items. Some good examples that Builds mentioned are more arcade games, crafting supplies, more kitchen appliances, and moving curtains. More interactive items will make your house feel more interactive, or alive if that makes any sense. Update 5 is the ability to select multiple objects at once and move them. Many people have the same issue where they build something in a bad spot and want to move it. But since there's no good feature in the game to do that, they have to resort to rebuilding or moving every object individually. That's time consuming and can get expensive. So the solution could be selecting multiple objects. You would drag your mouse to create a selection area on your screen. Once you let go, every item in that area gets selected. You can then move those items wherever you want. Or you could individually click on each item so you only select what you want to move. This update has been requested by a lot of people, so the community would definitely appreciate it. Update 6 is adding wall types. For example, instead of just having a normal wall, half walls or curved walls could be introduced. The wall category would bring you to a separate page of different wall types instead of just pulling out a normal wall. Adding this would give players more of a variety which could result in more unique builds. This next one is a little bit different. Update 7 is backpacks. I'm putting this in the video because it's an item that you would get out of build mode. You can put items in your backpack such as foods or drinks or most of the items that can be interacted with. You can then wear the backpack and take your items around the map. It's pretty much a food tray that goes on your back. Backpacks would be a cool update for role players and a lot of people want them so I think they should get added. Moving back to building leads us to update 8 which is color schemes. Aiden made a really good example of this a couple years ago so shout out to him. As you can see when you click on the color palette icon it pulls up a menu of public palettes that people have posted. That's a tongue twister. Once you choose a palette the colors are on the side of your screen and you can quickly select them whenever you need to color a certain part of your build. This isn't some game changing update but it would definitely help people who struggle with coloring their builds. Update 9 is the ability to place doors and windows on more objects. An example of this is placing doors on basic shapes or placing windows on roofs. If you want to make a door on a basic shape you have to build the door yourself. It and it'll not be functional. Same goes with roofs. If you want to build windows into them, you have to make your roof out of basic shapes. This can be difficult for people without game passes, so adding it would definitely help them. Since we mentioned roofs, update 10 is being able to adjust roofs after they have already been placed. Right now, if you want to adjust your roof, you have to delete it, then reselect the points, then kind of just eyeball the size. This is annoying, especially when you suck at guessing. So the solution would be making roofs work with the scale tool. Just click on your roof and then these scale buttons will pop up. You can then resize it to whatever you want. It's already built into the game, so this update would be really easy to add. Let's keep talking about roofs. Update 11 is the option to make roofs hollow. I also talked about this in the previous video, but I only mentioned the gable roof. This time, I'm talking about all the roofs. For example, that means adding a hollow pyramid roof, hollow mansard roof, or a hollow slanted roof. You could turn these into attics or lofts, or just have a shaped interior ceiling. This example was made by Capto. He's a really underrated builder, so make sure to go support him. Okay, no more roofs. Moving on, update 12 is adding more realistic plants. Some examples could be a very tall oak tree, pine tree variations, more bushes, more flowers, and new rocks. Just something that would be a good alternative for decals. This is good for every player because it means you don't have to spend $30,000 for one realistic tree. Update 13 is snap-on fences. Fences currently work like walls. They can only be placed on the large grid size and they have to be touching the floor. This means if you want to create an elevated porch, you have 
to build custom fences for it. That can sometimes be difficult for people without game passes, so this problem could be solved with a feature that snaps fences to objects. It could work like beams, where you click two points and a fence is created in between. Adding this would help people save money because custom fences are not the cheapest. Update 14 is animal enclosures. Cages, fish tanks, or whatever those reptile aquariums are called could be introduced into Blacksburg. If these items were added to the game, small pets would probably have to be introduced as well. I doubt they would do much though, they would probably just be moving decorations that you could interact with. Let's go back to roofs. Update 15 is fixing ceiling texture overlapping. If you have ever seen a ceiling that looks like this, that's called texture overlapping. It happens whenever two objects are at the same place at the same time, and Roblox can't decide which texture to show, so it shows both. This can be pretty frustrating for builders, so fixing it would prevent a lot of headaches. Update 16 is more foods. Yes, I'm putting this in the list, mostly because foods are commonly used in builds as decoration. I think a cool addition to each update would be adding a few new food types. Over time, the list of foods in Bloxburg would be significantly bigger. Some of these foods could also be added to the supermarket to give it more of a variety. Update 17 is connectable roof pieces. This would be its own category, and it would include things such as skylights and dormers. Adding this would make shaping roofs a lot easier, because right now, if you want to decorate a roof, you have to get pretty creative with basic shapes or walls. Update 18 is putting items in your inventory. If you have ever bought an expensive car and then wanted to move it to a different plot, you would have to sell the vehicle for a reduced price and then waste extra money buying another one. Same thing goes for any other expensive item that does not cost blocks bucks. If you were able to put an expensive item in your inventory and then place it down on a different plot, you wouldn't have to waste any money. So this would be a nice update for convenience. Update 19 is adding an estimated value of your bills whenever you are in build mode. Bills kind of suck because you won't know how much they are until you have to pay for them. There could be a little info icon in the corner of your screen while you are in build mode and it would show you stats such as your plot data, house value, and estimated bills. Having this all in one menu will make your building statistics easy to find and easy to check. And the final update is working windows. What I mean by this is having the ability to open and close them. Opened windows would probably look very cool on a house, but as of right now the only way to make an opened window is to use basic shapes. Since they're made out of basic shapes, you can't interact with them. But adding working windows would give players the choice to easily switch between opened and closed. And that is 20 build mode updates that Bloxburg players want. Make sure to go down and comment your favorite update from the list. Also, if there's anything I didn't mention in the video, include that in your comment. Before the video ends, I want to thank you all so much for 50,000 subscribers. My childhood dream was to become a YouTuber, and because of you guys, that dream is actually happening. So once again, thank you. My Discord server is in the description if you want to join. It's pretty active, and I also post video teasers there. But I hope you enjoyed, and make sure to stick around for future videos. Hold on. While I was editing this video, the burger place burnt down. I don't want to make a full video on it, so I'm going to talk about it now. A rogue firework hit the building and somehow exploded it. I don't know how it happened, but I hope another one hits the furniture store. That place is pretty ugly. Okay, bye.